Hello, everybody. Rory here. Um, I just thought I'd stop by and do some affirmations and prosperations is what I call them. Something to get your morning started off on the right foot. All right. So um, the card that I pulled is from a deck that I created called Prospermations. All right, um, these cards go with a course that I created called the Prosperity Formula. So these are daily transformations where you can pull a card and speak into existence that which you desire to take place in your life. That's why when you see my, um, my quotes, um, I do quotes all the time. So when you see my quotes on social media, they're usually speaking in the first person, usually, unless it's something that I don't really want you to affirm for yourself, then I might not speak it in first person. But usually when you read the quotes, they start with I, um, and, and they're talking about, they're words that you can speak out into the universe to speak, you know, things into existence for yourselves. So anyway, so the card I pulled today is number 25 of the Prospermations. And it says, this day is a positive new beginning. Okay, yes it is. And I look for the good in everything that I do. I am exactly where I am supposed to be. Now that's a few things right there, you know. <laughs> Today I would probably break this down. Like I did these in 2005 or six, maybe 2006, I did these cards, I think. Yeah, but anyway, so anyway, um, so this is, a positive new beginning. It is, and in so many in so many ways, um, every day is a positive new beginning. You know, and one thing that I have to say about that, um, some things that our group um, over in Roses Lavender and Sage, and even with some of my friends, we are focusing on paying attention to our words even more. Um, I've been learning Spanish. <laughs> and having fun at it. It's getting a little bit more challenging now, you know, but I have been learning Spanish through a little app. And one thing is that I'm noticing how they speak. They speak a little differently than how we speak. And one thing they say, like we might say good morning and they may say good day, you know, good day. And that sounds nice, you know. Um, to have a good day. But when you look at the word morning, I'm also looking at how they spell things in the Spanish language versus how we spell them. Like the way they sm spell them is so much more simple um, than the way we spell words. And what I think about when I look at the way we spell things and the spelling period, spelling, um, is exactly what it is. When we speak words out, it's like casting a spell on whatever it is or over whatever it is we are speaking about. So when, um, when you say good morning, the word morning also is a sad word, M-O-U-R-N. I-N-G, morning, right? So like when you say good morning, like, what are you really saying? You know, are you saying good sadness? <laughs> I'm, I'm just being honest here. Like, what do we really say when we say good morning? You know, so I was like, hmm, I don't know that I want to say that anymore because am I asking for the person that I'm talking to to have a good morn? <laughs> have a good cry or something. <laughs> and I know it might sound silly, but words are very powerful. Our tongues are very powerful. So, you know, even if it is a slip of the tongue, I'm not sure I want to consciously make that slip. So I, I, I've started saying grand rising, great rising, um, great 
day or something like that, instead of saying good morning, um, even hello, hello. Maybe I'll say halo. <laughs> I'll just be real, okay? Greetings, everyone. Halo. Okay. Um, what's another word that that I had come across that I don't think feels all that great? Um, I can't remember. I, I wrote them down the other day. I was like, hey, I, I don't know if I want to say these words anymore. But anyway, I am all off topic from this positive affirmation here. All right. But every day is a great new beginning. So grand rising, great rising, you know, great more, great day. Look, I see I almost said it, right? All right. So anyway, so that's one of the things, but speak it out that this is a great new beginning. You know, we've set, we've moved into a new era, you know, the age, a new age, age of Aquarius, you know, and Things are different, you know, a lot of things are being released from this planet, a lot of nefarious activities are, are being squelched and done away with, you know, so we are really stepping into a great new beginning, right? So let's speak that out. This is a great new beginning, you know what I mean? Okay, I look for the good in everything that I do. Yes. And I spe expect greatness in everything that I do. I expect positive outcomes. You know, your expectation is like your intention for what it is that you desire, you know? So if you expect something that doesn't vibrate so high, then that's what you'll more than likely get. You know, um, I was speaking with a young lady um, earlier and she was stating that she hopes to not have postpartum depression as bad as it could possibly be. And, and so I was like, okay, well, let's correct those words because to say that is to say that I know I'm gonna have postpartum depression, but it's not gonna be as bad. Well, like, how about let's say I'm not gonna have postpartum depression at all. How about that? You know, so um, let's speak out what it is that we desire. I remember when I, I went to see this spiritual healer and um, after you get your spiritual surgery or your psychic surgery or whatever you receive, um, you're supposed to rest for two days and allow the healing to take place. And most people would be knocked out for two days. They would be feeling like they really just had a serious physical sur surgery. That's how the people would respond to this um, psychic surgery, right? And so um, I was like, shoot, I ain't gonna be down for two days. Forget all that, you know shoot you know and afterwards i was riding a bicycle you know i was i was down you know but it was more like for maybe like six hours and i was like knocked out like you know the spiritual anesthesia had to wear off and everything i was like totally knocked out for six hours straight in the middle of the day and then I got up and I was walking up and down. I rode a little bicycle up the street to the little cafe where you could use the internet. And, you know, I was in another country at the time. And it was, it was really, I was like, wow. Like I actually spoke into existence what my experience was going to be like. And it was exactly that, you know, where other people who got procedures, spiritual procedures, Right along with me, they were down for the count for two days. But I was like, hmm, that's very interesting. But it's interesting because your words are powerful, okay? So um, I'm lo I look for the good in everything that I do. Speak that out. Speak it out. Stop speaking out the things that you don't desire to happen in your lives. Speak out what you desire to happen in your life. You know, it doesn't matter what you're going or growing through. It doesn't matter how much of whatever you have, if you have this, if you had that, if you got this much money or this, not this much money or whatever, you know, the way you handle your situation is totally 
the way you perceive and the way you um, put out what it is that you're going to have is exactly how you're going to respond to your situation. You know, um, the way you respond to your situation, the way you react to your situation, all these things play a part, the way you speak out and speak about your situation, what you give energy to. You know, I try not to give energy to stuff that's like, low vibrational. I try to give my energy more to things that vibrate high because the more the more energy you give to low vibrational things, the more loose you create on this planet. And the planet has enough loose without us creating more of it. So I would rather like not focus on those things that are creating loose for the planet. You know, it's time for us to release all this loose. So anyway, I'm exactly where I'm supposed to be. And that is so true. We are all exactly where we're supposed to be. Whether we really like where we are or not, we are there for a reason. Now, it's for you to figure out why. Why are you here? If this is a place that you are at and you don't really like that place, then you might need to figure out why am I here? What lessons am I supposed to be learning from being here? And learn those jokers so that you can move to where it is that you desire to be. You can move forward on your journey instead of remaining stuck in a place that you claim that you don't like. You know, even if you don't like something, sometimes what I do, because I can't say that I love everything that, you know, happens. However, I don't, like I said, I don't have to focus on those things that I don't love. Okay, so now this reminds me um, a young lady in the group in uh, Roses, Lavender, and Sage, she um, um, inboxed me and asked me a question about um, raising your vibration. So she asked, well, you know, besides staying away from the news, you know, on the television, <laughs> what can I do to raise, well, she asked, what do you do? What else? you know, do you do to raise your vibration? And I can honestly say, I don't always stay away from the news because even if I don't watch the news on the television, I might watch the news on the alternative networks that are out there. And news, even if you are, um, even if the news, like, like, let's say, you know, you're, you're watching something and let's say, for example, you're, you're watching something and it's about Black Lives Matter, you know, that organization or movement or whatever. Um, <clears throat> that could feel positive, right? And you could feel like you're not participating in loosh, but you actually could be participating in loosh because some people feel offended you know, some people feel like, well, all lives matter. Well, yes, all lives do matter, but this movement is about, you know, Black Lives Matter, you know, and and it is what it is. The movement is what the movement is. And, um, but it can create loosh because if someone gets offended and their opposition opposing sides or the movement is fighting against this, whenever you're fighting, there is loosh, fighting, creates loosh, okay? Whether you're fighting for the good or something, everybody feel like they're fighting for the good or something. Yeah, I'm just saying, you know? So whether you're on this side or that side, both sides feel the way they feel. This side has their sunglasses on, this side has their sunglasses on, and this side is fighting for what they think is right, and this side is fighting for what they think is right. And guess what creates loosh? The fighting. The fighting creates the low vibrations. Whether you feel like what you're fighting for is good or not it creates loosh and there are beings on this planet that thrive from loosh you know did you see did you guys see monsters inc you know like even before i had a child i was into disney movies kitty like movies i'm just telling you i was even before i had a child <laughs> so um but monsters inc um, is about uh, these little monsters and they stole the laughs from the children, right? And they harnessed it and then they created energy from the laughs. 
Well, I feel like in every one of these little movies, they're giving you a whole lot of truth and you're thinking it's all fictional, but it's a whole lot of truth in there. But some people actually thrive, not from our laughs. I thrive off of laughs. I love laughing. But some beings thrive off of loosh, creating loosh, getting loosh. Loosh is like disharmony, negative energy, um, negativity, disgruntled behavior, anxiety, um, raise like just like uh, just a bunch of negativity, bunch of fighting, chaos, chaos. That's loosh, you know. So. Anyway, look Lucia, L-O-O-S-H, okay? So anyway, so there are beings that actually thrive. They harness the loosh and they, their energy is provided to them from the loosh created by the beings on this planet, you know, all kinds of beings, you know? Humans are one of the minorities, <laughs> but that's a whole nother subject. Okay, so anyway, so <laughs> I have gone all over the place. Okay, so with the words, let's speak the words out. Okay, so the lady, the lady was asking me, the young lady that's in Rose Lavender and Say, so what else do you do? You raise your vibration. Okay, so I, I do a number of things to help raise my vibration and to release energies that are not serving my highest good. You know, so you like I release cords, you know, sometimes people cut cords. I release the cords. A cut cord could grow back, you know, um, you can release a cord and it could come back, you know, but you cut a cord, it could just grow right back. So I release cords. I do healing work. I do daily releases, you know, I do um, sage candles every day. I release, you know, because I deal with people and other people's energies every day. So I release their stuff every day because I'm an empath and I, you know, I attract people that may need help. They may need my energy, you know, they might need my, my words. They might need the healing you know, that comes through me. So, you know, and, and oftentimes I let go of so much energy then I have to replenish. So that's another thing that I do. I replenish myself. I shield myself and protect myself from the energies, from lower vibrating energies, lower vibrating entities, um, lower vibrational everything. So, you know, things that are not coming from a place of pure love. I kind of shield those things away from me. So, you know, if you're somebody, you're wondering why can't I reach her or stuff like that, maybe you're vibrating a little low and that's maybe why you can't reach me, you know? Um, so, or, or maybe why we're not connecting or connected. Maybe, maybe you're, you're, you're not allowed in my space. <laughs> I'm just being honest, okay? All right, so, um, so those are some of the things that I do. I speak positive things out every day, several times a day. I watch my words. I've been minding my words forever. You know, I believe that our words are our wands. Your word is your wands. A, a, a lady, Florence Scovel Shin, many, many years ago, I think it was 1939, wrote some books, The Game of Life and How to Play It. Your Word is Your Wand. She wrote several books. I think it was like four of them. I have all of them. And you, the way you word things is very important. You know, um, I, I, I get clarity all the time. I talk to my ancestors all the time. You know, I talk to God all the time. I, I connect with my higher self all the time. I call it my ori. You know, I connect with my higher self. I, I have strived for so long to hear and see clearly that that's what I do. You know, when someone is speaking, I hear the whole thing. Like there is a doctor that everybody listens to that works for the NIH. His name starts with an F. You know, um, I was, uh, someone sent me a clip the other day and he was speaking and he was answering a question from Rand Paul. I think that's his name. 
Senator Rand Paul or yeah, I think that's the thing. Anyway, so he was answering a question and his answer, I could hear exactly where the bullshit was. You know what I'm saying? I was like, oh, he's playing with words. And I could hear the words, I could hear the word that was a false word. So people, you know, like I can hear through a sentence, you know what I mean? But when you practice for so long to keep your vibration high and to focus on positive things, focus on high vibrations, focus on tapping into your higher self, connecting with source, you know? When you do that for so long, you will hear it. It's like you hear a sentence and then a word jumps out. Remember that game whack-a-mole where you hit the, hit the mole? <laughs> like that's like the sentence. The sentence would be like this, you know, like, like an EKG machine, like, like the thing that pops up, like kind of like a lie detector. Like I hear the words that are wrong, or I hear the senses that are wrong. That sense right there is not true, you know? So I can hear it, but that's because I've been doing this for a long time. I've been honing my gifts and abilities for a long time. But for those of you who, who are not there yet, start, you know, start, start with meditation, start with breathing, doing breath work. I teach breath work. I teach meditation. I teach you how to protect your space. I teach you how to release energy, how to cut cords or release cords, how to um, do spiritual baths, spiritual showers, how to make oils that you can anoint with, you know? And so start doing some of the things for yourselves, you know? And start doing something positive for yourselves on a regular basis. These are ways to keep your vibration high. Start releasing, those who are not serving your highest good. It is not serving your highest good to be around low vibrational beings all the time. You know what I mean? Sometimes like in the work that I do, a lot of my clients vibrate low because they're sick and they're, they're elderly, they're not well, and they're filled with pills, you know? <laughs> low vibrational pills. <laughs> And so they can't help it. And then they watch the television all the time and they're programmed. So we as a people, you know, whatever kind of being you are, you know, we have to start deprogramming ourselves and reprogramming ourselves with higher vibrational things and releasing those lower vibrational things from our being. We have to do that. We have to start, we have to start waking up. We have to start questioning things. You know what I mean? Like, like why is it that you have one thing that vibrates low, that you create as a panicking thing for the whole world, this world. And then all of a sudden it could go away with the snap of a finger and then they have you vibrating on something else that's low. And then that'll go away like this. You forget all about it. Then they have you vibrating on something else that's low. Why is that? You know what I'm saying? Have you ever thought about all of the race wars and all of that stuff, you know, like you, you will, you don't have to experience all of that, you know? I mean, I, I, I don't even want to get into all of that so deep, but you can create the reality that you desire to live in. You know, we are in a matrix, you know, you can create the reality that you desire you can use those same words to cast positive spells on yourself instead of negative stuff. You know what I mean? You can grow through your trials and tribulations with a smile on your face because you know exactly what it is that you're dealing with. You know, everything doesn't have to, just because it is a trial doesn't mean that it has to feel horrible you know it doesn't always have to feel so horrible so you guys i know i've gone all over the place <laughs> but you know that's what i do because <laughs> i'm coming from spirit and i'm coming from a place of love and i just allow spirit to flow through me you know 
and 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 provide you with whatever it is that you're supposed to hear in this day. So from this card, I got all of it. <laughs> this day is a positive new beginning. I look for the good in everything that I do, and I'm exactly where I am supposed to be. I hope you enjoy that. Have a wonderful day. Ashe.